welcome to this week's episode of FDN. Uh, there's an announcement here. Uh, Mr. Dickinson Homeroom would like to tell us that they will be holding a donation drive through March 19th to the 22nd. The drive is a drive to collect hygiene supplies for the MCSA, the Homeless Shelter of Muscatine. The winning homeroom will receive a pizza party and their homeroom teacher can get wrapped up like a mummy with some toilet paper. We will announce the winner in the assembly on March 22nd. Students can donate to their homerooms or other homerooms they would want to see wrapped in toilet paper. Sweet! I've also seen a flyer around school to sign up to help with um, some sort of donation drive for dogs. Have you guys seen that? For shelters? Doggos. No, I have not seen that. Oh. I haven't seen that. Yeah, so if you want to help with shelters, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but there's some there's some flyers going around and you can sign up to help animals out. Because animals are cool. Hello and welcome to this week's segment of LMCSD News. This week I went around and asked some seniors what they would like to be done with the senior room. Now of course not all of these are realistic, it was just kind of, if you could have anything in the world in the senior room, what would you want? Okay, if you could have anything in the senior room, what would you want? Uh, in the senior room I would probably want a pool table because when I was younger I used to play pool with Braden since he was my next door neighbor and he taught me a lot so I feel like it was like a good way to improve my hand-eye coordination which you can use in life. Um, a chocolate fountain. I think we should have beanbag chairs in the senior room. Question boxes. I would want like actual shades and not a sheet. If you could have anything in the senior room, what would it be? I say nicer TVs because I want to smash in high quality. And kind of a kitchen thing where you can <laughs> make Mr. Wolf oh, yeah, food and candies. Food. Like a micro, we should have a microwave. That's what we should have. I personally would love if we had like maybe like a divider so that we can separate people who are trying to study and do homework versus people who are just playing games or talking. Thank you for watching this segment of LMCSD News. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great weekend. Throughout time, humans have been searching for answers to questions that have plagued the human mind since the first thought. After millennia of searching, these questions will finally be answered. This is The Definitive Decision. Wings A staple of sport outings and get-togethers. A wing, which is literally made from the wing of a chicken, is made from the meat and bone of a chicken. It's a simple food that has been a favorite of Americans since first eaten in the 1960s, with the rise of a wing, an imposter has used the fame of wings to rise as well. The monstrosity known as a boneless wing. A wing is made from the meat of the wing. A boneless wing is not. There is nothing wingy about a boneless wing. A boneless wing is a chicken nugget slash tender, made from the breast of a chicken, not the wing, that's sold at wing restaurants so people feel like they're eating wings when they're not. It's a chicken nugget dressed up to seem fancier than it really is. This isn't anything against people that eat boneless wings. They're not bad, but they're not wings. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to another installment of This Day in History, March 9th. On March 9th, 1918, the Russian Bolshevik Party officially became the Communist Party. Sticking within the Soviet Union, in 1961, the Soviet flight Sputnik 9 carried and returned from orbit a dog named Chernushka and a bunch of frogs and a, and a guinea pig. Those darn Soviets. On this day in 1959, the first Barbie doll went on display at the American Toy Fair in New York City. Being 11 inches tall and having a waterfall of blonde hair, Barbie was the first mass-produced toy doll in the United States with adult features. On March 9, 1945, the firebombing of Tokyo officially began. On this day, the United States launched a new bombing offensive against Japan, 
dropping almost 2,000 tons of incendiary bombs on Tokyo over the course of the next 48 hours. Almost 16 square miles in and around the Japanese capital were incinerated. Between 80,000 and 130,000 Japanese civilians were killed in this action. In 1997, the rapper Notorious B.I.G. was shot to death at a stoplight in Los Angeles. The murder was thought to be the culmination of an ongoing feud between rap music artists from the East and the West Coasts. That's it for this day in history, March 9th. And remember, that's what happened today in history, but it's never too late to change tomorrow. It's a corner question, Clay. And I have a uh, for people do that uh, that uh, respect women. Uh, look at all these people that respect women. Uh, we'll have a list right here. Look at it. They respect women. So let's get on with the show. Do you miss me on the show? And this is from Aaron. Of course not. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. Of course not. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. Of course not. Uh, do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. Of course not. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. No. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. No, I don't. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. Uh, no. Do you miss having me on the show? From Aaron. No. Do you miss having me on the show from Aaron? Um, no. Do you miss having me on the show from Aaron? Uh, no. Well, here's a good one. What is your life goals, career, etc.? Well, once I get out of school, we will have a whole lot of time to think about what I'm going to do, because I should probably figure out what I'm going to do before, you know, I go out and my, live my life. What is your stance on human beings? Human beings were put on this earth to live on it, and they're kind of doing more than living. They're kind of actually killing the earth, and it's not very good. So we got to make sure we recycle, and we use our resources to the best, because once the resources are gone, we're not going to have them anymore. So we got to make sure that we're reusing, reducing, and recycling. Green earth behind me. Make our earth a better place. Global warming exists. Okay, last question here. <laughs> what do you call the graph of a two degree polynomial? Oh, this is from Mr. Grenz. The graph of a two degree polynomial. Hmm. Oh, of course, it's a quadratic function. Uh, duh. I mean, everyone knows that, especially if you're in algebra two. Uh, that's all for the show. Uh, put it in the box. Make sure Aaron doesn't touch the box. So that the whole box isn't just filled with questions that say, do you miss me on the show? Uh, if you like question answer, follow me on Twitter at a play a question a man. I can answer all your questions over there. And if you want the box to come straight to you, make sure you sign up on the question box sign up sheet and the box will come straight to you. So let's just take a moment and respect all the people that respect you in here. Oh, the episode's over, but before you go, you gotta click out that um, full screen button over there. Okay, now you see down there, there's the subscribe button. We need you to click it, because when we get to 100 subscribers, I'll do something stupid on the camera just for fun. And you'll all like it. Just for fun. Just for fun. Like, I don't do enough stupid stuff every week. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you more next week.